This video will be going over some of the commonly used distribution functions in R. That is functions used to analyze a probability distribution. And so the first function we're going to look at is R norm. This allows us to draw random values from a distribution, specifically the normal distribution, because it is R norm. So if it was R uh, poise, R P O I S, then that would be drawing random values from a Poisson distribution. And so we're going to look at what we're going to draw 100,000 values from the normal distribution. And we're going to look at a histogram of that. And so here you see those values plotted. Now notice that this is, a, this is only 100,000 points, but you see a curve forming. Uh, if you were to look at the outline of this histogram and look at that as a function, so if we were to have an infinite number of, uh, of points drawn from the distribution and we were to look at that, it would resemble a, a line over this distribution. And so we're going to look at what that looks like. I'm going to plot the density of this data. And so here you have the probability density function of the normal distribution. And so you could see that there are values on the y-axis. And if we wanted to know what that value was corresponding to a value on the x-axis, we would use the d-norm function. And so I'm going to give you an example here. Suppose we wanted to know what is the y value corresponding to a value of 0 on the x-axis? And so we could see that that value is roughly 0.4. And so using d-norm of 0, you see that we get an answer that's roughly 0.4. We got 0 0.398. And so now what if we wanted to know the area of a certain value or lower on the curve. And so what I mean by that is if we were to draw a line, a vertical red line, at minus 2, so right here. So what I want to know is what is the area underneath this curve from the value minus 2 and lower. And so the way you would find that is using the p-norm function. And so we'd simply do p-norm of minus 2. And there we go. So that, that area, the area that is at this red line or lower, the area under the curve is this value right here, which is 0 0.0227 approximately. And so suppose we wanted to know the opposite. Suppose we had an area in mind. We had this 0 0.0227501013 area in mind, but we didn't know what value on this graph corresponded to that area. This is where we would use the qNorm function. And so we do qNorm of this area, of the area that we wanted. And then I'll show you what this answer is. And it gives us minus 2. So it shows us the value that corresponds to that. So um, another way, another one we can do is suppose we wanted to know at what value, at what value um, or lower do we have an area of exactly half of this curve. The entire curve is, has an area of 1. And so at what value do we, do we have an area of 0.5 or half of it? Now we can see from the plot that 0 is exactly in the middle, splits the area in half, and so would give us 0.5. So the answer we should expect is 0. If we want Q norm of 0.5, half of the area, you see the, the output is 0, which is what we expect. And so um, this has been an overview of all the different functions you can use to analyze probability distributions in R, and thanks for watching.